Welcome back to what I think will be the last episode of Until Dawn. And we start off with the therapist, the psychoanalyst, trying to fix Josh. My guy was just asleep. Anna and Beth died while he was asleep, so I, you can't really blame him for that, Mr. Psychoanalyst. I didn't hurt anyone. They hurt, to be fair, they hurt you. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. You should, you need to apologize. The Wendigo are worse than death themselves. Fair play. Previously on Until Dawn, it's gonna go through who everyone I've killed. Two hours till dawn. I don't want to lock it. There's no need to, because I know the others are trying to follow me. So if I lock it, they can't follow me. The game's not letting me. I have to lock it, apparently. I wonder if my doggy friend will help me. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, a totem. This might help me. Keep Sam alive. <laughs> well, that's Mike kidding himself for the crowd. That might be a good thing. It saves Sam. I'm fucking doing it. I'll tell you that much. Are those all the Wendigo? Those 12 by any chance? What happened to the walls? What are you on about? My guy said, what happened to the walls? Have they been? He said, what's happened to the walls? Which means they've been here, which means my doggy friend might be dead. Doggy friend, are you here? Doggy friend? Okay, so the doggy friend is not here at the moment. What? My guy's torso's disappeared. He's missing his torso. He's, I'm missing textures, man. Where are my textures? There's a gap in my stomach. Bro, I'm completely disconnected. Okay, my torso's back. I have a torch. Why am I lighting this up? Now this, this will be useful in sewing them down. Good enough. I'll definitely need that. How do I get out of here then? There we go. Fuck me, that was loud. Oh, my doggy friend. I don't want to take the dog with me though, because if I take the dog with me, that means he's going to die. I want the dog to live. No, he's barking because there's some Wendigo in there. Hello, friend. Oh no, the other wolfie. That's fucked as well. Yo, the window go on. Yeah, that's right. Let's turn back around and go home. <laughs> the basement is... It's safer to sit in the basement. I'll tell you that much. So... They keep a Wendigo trapped in here. Fuck me, it is nuts. The doors were built like tanks, yet it was kicked for open from the inside. Which tells me the Wendigo, the one of them, had spawned in this room and completely annihilated the people waiting here. They artificially made some Wendigo, I can tell. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No crawling up that wall. I will try and keep them all alive, the last four. But honestly, if they all die apart from Sam, it's not that much of an issue. I'm going to see a shadow of one here. Oh, no. There it is. He's saying, what the fuck? Like, you don't know what that is. You do know what that is. I advise not going out into the open area, but this game is making me make that choice. Huh? No, it's it was the little mouse. Relax. Oh, that's a Wendigo. Bang. That one looks weaker, though. He looks... He looks more fresh. He's not old. Let's go left. Left is always right. When I went left last time, I, I lived. Back up away. Even a headshot's not going to do anything to it. That's not good. I need to stay still. I'm staying deathly still, and I'm not in a comfortable position right now, so that was hard to do. <laughs> Holy shit, no! This wasn't the smartest move you could have made, Mike. We should have taken the shotgun and then gone home. It's behind the cage. What is the point of me wasting a bullet? Oh, these... Oh, I see. These are the ones that, um... One at a time, boys. The arsonist. Me for all you. There's no point. These are the ones the arsonist fucking caged up and said not to kill. That cage is open. Okay, no, he's fine. He's chained up. He's chained up. We don't need to shoot him. We, we save the bullets for the one that we know is free. Oh, that was close. He's caged up. Stop trying to make me shoot the ones that are caged up, bro. That one's not caged up. We shoot that one. <laughs> Mr. Dog, can you protect me for two seconds? No. That's flammable. This is some good stuff. Oh, there's two free. Yeah, we need to shoot this. I'm pressing right trigger. Did I just blow myself up? Oops, we killed two. I mean, I don't think we have much of a choice. I thought I blew myself up then. I, I 
think the reason it didn't shoot with Chris is in the same situation it didn't shoot there. I'm holding L2 like I was playing COD to aim in and then spamming R2. And it wasn't accepting it. I let go of L2 and just press R2 and it shot it instantly. So I think me fucking holding L2 like you aim in a video game, like every other video game, you hold L2 to aim. For some reason, in Until Dawn, that's not a thing. If you hold L2, you're just going to fucking kill yourself. And it's... Um, um, I'm fucking fuming. So there's no other, L2. It doesn't get used in this game at all. The fucking pod instincts got Chris killed. Where's the dog gone? Oh, we're still being followed. How many Wendigo are there in total? So we've killed two. I don't see what's wrong with killing them. It releases the spirit, but if no one eats the meat, we'll be fine. Shitty titties. I need to shoot the door open. Oh, that was a good shot. Uh, just escape. Hey, buddy, come on down. It's alright. No! My what dog! <laughs> if I barricaded, would I have saved the dog? <laughs> That's two more down. We've killed four Wendigos in total, I think. There we go. There's one spirit. I was about to say one survived then, because there was not two spirits being released. I thought she was dead. I thought she was alive, but I wasn't sure. Bro, I've gone through like nine episodes without you now. Why'd you have to come back now? Can you just died? It would have been easier. Now there's five of them alive. I've gained a survivor. Well, I have a feeling Jess isn't going to live much longer. Not with my apparent atrocious decision making. Totem, give me some help. Oh, so Josh has turned into a Wendigo. So that's not good. Yeah, he locked it. You know what? It's a good job I did. The one with the bike goes first. She's a miserable cow. It's not so bad. Why do you have to send Sam first? Stop making Sam the sacrificial lamb. I want her to live. It's a very dark, spooky tunnel. And they've all, they've, both of them have ran off without me. Because they have not waited two seconds for me to close that gate. Jesus. We're meant to stick together. Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! No. Remember, they can mimic their prey. So we're going to ignore the voice. Because no. personally, I don't care if it's Jessica. <gasps> she... As far as I was aware, she was dead. So let's focus on sticking with the group. Yeah, if you waited two seconds for me to close the gate, we wouldn't have the, had this issue. Oh yeah, we've gone straight to the mine. Look there. Wow. Right. Uh, who are we? Who are we going to now? Uh, hello. Who are we? <laughs> oh, we're Josh. I think. Is he dead? Doesn't seem to be moving very much. Uh, leap. I want some quick time events to train myself ready for the new uh, anything. Oh fuck! I keep. Pressing square instead of circle. Because it's, it's a different way around on the Xbox. Circle. Square. Triangle. Square. Triangle. Okay, we got it. Uh, is this this woman's a definitely a rock climber. I did not explore. I just accidentally went straight into a different area and dropped down. I hope this is where I was meant to go. Oh, some more TNT going off. That might be... You know what? That might just be Mike, you know, fucking setting off the explosives like I did earlier. Hello? Will you stop walking into the wall? This looks strangely familiar. Okay, well, that was Mike killing a Wendigo. Good old leverage. Leverage. Fuck you. Get off. That was a good job I was here, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, define all right. Alive, for a start. Yeah, yeah, life's good. What the hell are you doing here? Why anyway? you use the shotgun to barricade the door? It's a total of four of them dead. Don't know how many there are, though. One hour till dawn. Why is he making bubble noises? You all don't exist. You're all in Josh's head. Psychoanalytic bullshit. All alone in the bottom of a cave with some Wendigo. I think Josh may die down here. Although I did see that totem that says that he may become a Wendigo. We found Beth's dead body. Well, we found a head. But there was no... There was no corpse of Hannah nearby. So I have a feeling... And I'm pretty sure I'm right from like the last time I watched it until Tom playthrough a couple of years ago. I'm pretty sure Hannah is a Wendigo. And she ate Beth. This guy's losing his mind. He's losing his marbles. Oh, oh, no. Is he settling down? Let's move around. I, I can't see, so where am I meant to go if I can't see? Oh, hello. Who's that? You're all alone, Maybe, he's, maybe he is losing his mind. 
I don't think it's a maybe. I think he is losing his mind. Yes. Yes, he is losing his mind. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I think the crazy man's brain is going nuts. My guy is fully tripping. Is that the spirit of the Wendigo? Is he turning already? Yes, move, move. You probably shouldn't have released them. Now, how the fuck do we get out of here? Is that a hand grenade? Oh, no, it's a totem. Why did I think it was a hand grenade? Fucking useless. I don't get the controls of this sometimes. I hold R2, turn it around, and look inside. There's a house on fire and Mike's outside. I thought Mike sacrificed himself in that. Well, all I know is the big house is going to burn down. Oh, apparently we have to drop in the water. I'm not dead yet. I guarantee you for sure there is something in this water. There is a hundred percent something in the water. No? Okay. I may be overthinking things. Oh. Well, that's why they... Oh, hello. I knew there was something in the water. It led us past, though. I mean, we have literally delivered ourselves to their food storage by the look of it. And that's Matt's body back there. There's Chris's body back over there. There's the arsonist. No! You'll be fine, guys. A Wendigo. Oh, no, it's Josh. Eh? That's... I was just on his angle. Oh, no, I'm back to his angle now. It's a matter of time. He's tripping or something. Josh! My, my. Josh! Hey, man! What? He, he seems calm down now. See that over there? So she's just gonna climb up there like it's nothing. Yeah, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. Wait, does this mean Josh can live? I'm kind of upset. Where is Jess? I, I, I was told, I was shown that she's still alive, and then since then I've not seen her. That's Matt's body. There's only two, two officially dead then. I've only got two killed so far then, like, officially. Chris and Matt. And of course, they're both people that I wanted to, the, they were the two people I wanted to live the fucking most. M got Matt killed, and my cod instincts, aka my fault, but I'm still putting it on the cod instincts, got fucking Chris killed. You can't hold L2 to aim, that's not allowed, that's illegal. You'll be fine, Josh. Just ignore the wind to go in the lake. Alright, let's stop moving. You don't see that, Mike! Uh, oh! oh! You're not Hello. Free! I can tell you very much that she is real, and that is her. <laughs> oh, and Josh is dead. Mike may have got Josh killed. Oh, here we go. Jessica is alive. So now there's three main cast members dead. I don't know if I could have saved Josh, but he's definitely not alive right now. He's definitely no longer living right now. But I saw a vision where he becomes a Wendigo. That's obviously not happening now. His head's gone. Can he still become a Wendigo if he's missing a head? Am I not meant to go this way? I've written you off, Jessica. I would have thought you'd be dead by now. Oh, the loading bay is where she dropped. So I've got to go this way. You are very lucky to be alive right now, Jessica. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep you alive, but you're very lucky to be alive right now. I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse that you didn't just die from the fall, if I'm honest. We'll find out when I either get you killed or when I either figure out how to get you to survive. <laughs> Hides, you cannot outrun a Wendigo. <laughs> Shit. And she's dead. <laughs> I, di I didn't let you survive for long. This game fucking sucks. Is it because I'm playing a PS5 game on a PS4? Because I, I did not fucking move. As much as I wanted her to die, I didn't want her to die to fucking bullshit. I am literally holding the controller as still as I can, aimed at the PS5 straight, not fucking moving, and it moves. I don't understand what the problem is with this fucking game. It's got to be because I'm playing a P on the PS5. That was close. That was close. That was close. Triangle. If Sam can survive at the end of the day, that's a success in my book at this point. I'm still fucking fuming though. Right. I'm sitting straight on from the PS5. I'm ready if I don't need to not move in the water. Because I think that's what Mike was doing. So it wouldn't surprise me if I have to do it here. I'm sat directly from the PS5. The controller is straight and it's not moving. So you can go fuck yourself. Oh, we finally made it back to the shed. We're almost to the lodge. Although you should probably start running. That's what I thought. Triangle, don't hit your head on the tree. Circle. Oh, flow gas. <laughs> oh, Mike. Oh, gosh. 
You look terrible. So I remember in the lodge at the end where I am now, I need to stay incredibly still. And I am fully ready. I am sat straight on from the PS5. This controller is not moving. My wrists are... Well, M and Ashley should be here somewhere. If the fucking don't move thing gets another person killed, I rate our survival chances as zero. You fucking bitch, M. Just follow Mike. You do not have time to lock that door. Stay still. Stop running. Stay still. I'm sat still. I didn't even fucking breathe. I'm in definitely quiet here, because if I breathe, apparently it knocks the controller out. Gang warfare! <laughs> Smart boy. Gang warfare! Fight for the territory! I'm not fucking breathing on those. I don't want to risk it. Hey! I've got to give chance for the others to escape. Fucking okay, hell, I can't breathe. Fucking okay, hell. Breathing is not this good game. Your breath stinks. Fucking hell. Save me! Thank you! <laughs> Was that four out of eight survive? I'll take a 50% success rate. That's a 50% success rate. That's half the cast still alive. And all my favorites fucking died. Come on, fuck's sake. I'm assuming Jess died because I wasn't sat straight on from my PS5 because I did not no. fucking move. That was Jess and Beth dead. Jess, Hannah and Beth dead. And then Chris died because of fucking bullshit. Apparently holding L2 to aim doesn't work. Fucking bullshit. Matt died because I tried saving the fucking Asian cow. I don't know why I thought it was going to survive after he'd been hooked, by the way. Jessica, apparently, because I'm not sat directly on from my PS5, it doesn't count if I don't move. It's fucking bullshit. Whereas Josh, I don't know. I have no clue how I could have kept Josh alive. This is some bullshit. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, deservedly. 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 Shut up. Sam's the only decent one in that fucking building. That's a strong, independent woman right there. Go in the mines and cry. <laughs> I'm, I'm still fuming that Chris died. Fucking fuming. Yay. That circle analyst pissed me off at the start. It got better at the end when he was aiming it at Josh instead of me. But yeah, that was my playthrough. And unfortunately, I only managed to save 50% of the people. I'm quite upset with myself for that. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did enjoy, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go contemplate how I fucked this up. Bye.